collection from ColourPop. When I saw it, I saw the palette. I thought it was a very interesting color story. I saw the packaging and I was like, that's too cute. I want to grab it. So I went ahead and just grabbed the whole collection because I couldn't really decide what I wanted as far as, you know, the palette, the eye pencils, the Super Shop cheek products. So I just grabbed the whole collection. So I wanted to go ahead, take a look at it with you guys see what they got going on here and just kind of do an eye look and play with some of these you know cheek and lip products and just have some fun today so that's what we're going to do let me just say thank you so much for stopping by if you're new hi my name is colorful camille um i do pop up on youtube occasionally you know your girl shows up and i love makeup everything about makeup I love it slightly addicted but I love it so yeah let's go ahead and just take a look at this cute little Tinkerbell collection from ColourPop and see what we got so the first thing I have right here in my face is some super shock cheek products now for this collection there are three different super shock cheeks okay so first off let's just you know take a look at this packaging okay because the detailing is just so stinking cute on everything the packaging the products they really went all in with the detailing for this little collection and it is so stinking cute if you like you know tinkerbell and all that good stuff then you'll probably really really like this collection so let's just take a look at the colors that we have for this okay now my regulars know I'm not even gonna play with it okay <laughs> so this first one here really really cute it's called darling so let me open this one up this is like I said a super shock cheek oh that's cute this is probably what I'll be wearing today so this is what it looks like and this is what the back of the super shock cheek looks like let me go ahead and open this up so that is what darling looks like very very gorgeous uh, let me see here this next one is called magic moon so let me open up this one and i haven't decided yet if i'm going to keep all the packaging typically i don't you know keep all of the packaging even if it's like really cute and stuff because they're design on their products is super cute as well so you know it just depends but for the most part I don't really keep the packaging and I kind of feel like I don't need to just because they're so cute they have the Tinkerbell right there on the packaging okay so that is another cheek product and then I think this last one here is more of like a highlight so this one is called happy thoughts and this is what happy thoughts looks like very very pretty and yeah I will attempt to use this highlighter today and see how it looks on me but same thing on the back happy thoughts so those are the super shock cheek products let's take a look at these lip products here and this is the box I already took the lip products out but this is what the box looks like for these lip stains I'm not that big of a fan of the lip stains from ColourPop so I don't know how I will feel about these um, I don't know because they're not really deep colors so there's clap if you believe and then there is Tinkerbell so cute okay so let's take a look this is what the lip products look like 
this is what the packaging looks like you see that cute little tinkerbell on there i'm trying to get it to show without the glare and you see both of these are fairly light shades you can barely you know you can see a difference there but they're both very fairly very very light and so for me you know being a woman of color I'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about these i'll probably try one of these with a lip liner and see how i like one of them but those are the lip products so let me just see so this one is clap if you believe which is kind of looks like a like more of a peachy or what is it called um terracotta type nude and then this one has which is tinkerbell this one has a little bit more of kind of like a pinky i don't know rosy dusty rose kind of tint to it so yeah i'll probably put on tinkerbell today so let's move on to the super shock shadows so it's a trio in here of super shock shadows and this is what the box looks like for the super shock shadows once again absolutely adorable with the little tinkerbell on there very pretty and it has the names and ingredients on the back um, so there's straight on till morning never grow up and fly to your heart so let's take a look at these and then this is what the secondary packaging looks like for the super shock shadows it says believe in fairies very cute and I was really excited to get these because I did want some new super super shock shadows from ColourPop I love their super shock shadows I don't use them as often as I should but they're really really pretty so this one here is fly to your heart so very very light shade for me this will most likely be like an inner corner type color or maybe just a pop of brightness on the lid very pretty and they look like they'll probably be pretty glittery as well this one is called never grow up gorgeous gorgeous here so this is what never grow up looks like that's actually really really pretty and then this last one here which is actually probably going to be my favorite is called straight on till morning so this is a gorgeous gorgeous green super shock shadow and that is what that one looks like really really pretty okay so those are the super shock shadows now it does come with two eyeliner pencils this is what the packaging looks like for the eyeliner pencils very very cute as you can see the same type of design here with Tinkerbell and it just goes around ingredients on here and it also has the name so uh, fly with me I already took mine out this is what the actual uh, packaging for the pencils looks like one of them is kind of like a bronzy shade which is this one here so this bronzy one is called lost girl so that's what lost girl looks like bronzy shade and it looks pretty glittery and then so I'm assuming this one here fly with me is a pretty green one now I had to sharpen mine because when it came it was like stuck in the tube so I had to go ahead and sharpen mine with a regular sharpener sharpened very very easily so don't have to worry about that I'm very glad that they sharpened super easy with regular pencil sharpener so those are the two eyeliner pencils and last but not least we do have the palette so this is the box for the palette look how cute that is so adorable okay and then on the back you do have the names of the shades the ingredients all of that good stuff and it says sprinkle a little magic so very cute so that's the box this is the actual palette same design on here and on the back you get the names but you do not get the ingredients on the actual palette just keep that in mind in case you decide to get rid of the box so let's take a look at this palette um, there is a beautiful mirror in here with the cute little Tinkerbell on there so cute okay and this is what 
the shades in this palette are looking like. I really like this palette. I think it is actually quite unique for a green toned palette. Very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, it really caught my attention because it's like some different types of greens in here mixed in with those kind of like, you know, neutral dusty type, dusty rose type shades, I guess. I don't know. It's just, it's just different and unique to me. So we'll see what I come up with today for this eye look, but it's very, very cute. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swatch the palette on my arm so that I can get a feel for the type of eye look that I might want to do, how it's going to come off on my skin tone, and then we will come up with the look. Okay, you guys, so I just went ahead and swatched everything while I was swatching the palette. <laughs> so let's just start off on my hand. So these two, of course, are the eyeliner pencils. Those are the two colors for the eyeliner pencils. These three here are the Super Shock Shadows for the eyes. So those are the three colors for the Super Shock Shadows. These three right here are the Super Shock Cheeks. So the darker one, the lighter one, and then the highlighter. So those are for the cheek. These are the two lip stains. So you see what I was saying, you guys, how the lip stains are really, really very light. And, you know, I would definitely end up putting on a lip liner with those, but they're really very light and they don't look very different from each other. So those are the lip stains. And then this is the actual palette swatched out. So very, very nice. I know in some pictures, the super dark green actually looks black, you know, in some pictures, but this is what the color is for that super dark green. This green is super bright. <laughs> okay, very bright, gorgeous shimmers here. And then when I look at, I don't know if I can see, but the green super shock shadow is very close to this green shimmer here in the palette. So I don't know if you necessarily need both, you know, but yeah, very, very pretty. So this is the whole collection swatched out. Sorry if it looks super crazy, but that's what it looks like on my skin tone. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this off and then we will jump into this eye look. Okay, you guys, so I have no idea what I'm going to do. As you can see, I already have my complexion done, which is really weird for me because I never do my face first because um, I don't like to have to worry about fallout and stuff. But <laughs> just for the sake of time, whenever I do these like talky talk videos, they're usually extremely long. I don't know if I talk too much or I don't know how to edit one or the other, <laughs> but my complexion is already done. So... Um, I do have concealer and powder on my eyelids already and I think I'm just gonna roll with that okay instead of putting even more eyeshadow primer on top of that so it won't be super cakey but I don't know what I want to do you guys but I definitely of course want to dive into this dark green this lighter green this shimmer is gorgeous and I kind of want to use one of these Super Shock shadows. So I think I'm going to start with this super bright green and just kind of use that as my crease shade and then work around it. So I'm just going to take like a medium size. <laughs> it's stained, of course, you guys <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm sitting here like this look dirty for real, but this is a clean brush, you guys. That just goes to show what happens when you use a lot of colorful shadows and pigments like I do honey my brushes be stained for real so anyways this is just a generic medium size you know fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the darkest shade which is called oh no I didn't want to do that Dang, see I'm already messing up okay so I'm gonna take <laughs> this medium size fluffy brush a little bit less dense this is from my BH cosmetics collection the marble collection and I'm gonna go into the light green shade, which is called Sleep. Um, and I'm just going to kind of buff that out in my crease. Hopefully it will buff out. Um, Cause I'm not in the mood for anything kind of getting stuck. And since I'm not using a light base on my eyes, you know, I just have the concealer 
and you know the brown powder which is my skin tone I'm not going to fault the shadows that much if it doesn't really show up that bright because I didn't put down an actual eyeshadow primer but I kind of don't want it to be like super neon bright anyway and I've seen a few looks done with this palette and this green is really really bright so I'm kind of actually using my skin tone to kind of tone it down a little bit <laughs> by not putting it on a super light base okay so yeah okay so yeah I like the color that's showing up with you know me just having my skin tone situation going on it's not like that kind of super duper neon bright green okay nicely pigmented okay so I'm really liking how that color looks now I'm going to take this brush <laughs> that I tried to start out with and dip into the darkest green called awake and I'm thinking I kind of want to do like a halo situation today mm -hmm. let's see yeah that's dark okay so I'm just going to tap this in my outer corner to start off and see how I feel okay nicely pigmented I love when a shadow shows up even you know when I don't put an actual eyeshadow primer down you know it still shows up true to color and nice and pigmented so I'm very happy about that I don't know maybe I won't do a halo eye today you guys maybe I'll just do a standard eye look with a shimmer on the lid do you guys have one eye that gives you more uh, problems than the other my problem eye is my left eye and I don't know why but it's shaped weird I can never get the eyeshadow to look exactly how I want it to look. Um, plus, I have a scar right here, so that makes it even more difficult for me to um, work with this eye. I don't know. So, you guys, let me know if you guys have one eye that just kind of works your nerves, because I sure do, and it's the left, okay? Okay. So if you ever see a picture of me and my eye look looks crazy on the left, just know that's why. <laughs> the left is the problem child, okay? Okay, guys, so let's play with some of these shimmers. Um, I think I'm going to do my basic light to dark. So I'm going to go in with this beautiful light green shimmer right here in the center first. And I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like if I don't spray my brush. Every now and then I get a little curious just to see how a shadow will place down without any spray. So let me see. I mean, it's showing up, so. It's actually quite pretty if you don't want to go in with any type of spray, but I do. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab one of my little refresher sprays for my face. definitely adds that little bit of oomph to the shadow when you spray it. Honestly, I really ain't got no business trying to use eyeshadow without spraying my brush right now. <laughs> Since I have my complexion done already, I'm out here living reckless, you guys. Reckless. Okay, so let me find another brush because I want to go in. Mm, yeah, I want to go in with this dark darker green shimmer here and I'm going to spray my brush for that one. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just kind of blending those two greens together so I can get a nice gradient going. For me, this is like the basic, kind of like easy eyeshadow look to do um, where you can do this, you know, follow the same formula. It's quick, it's easy, and it usually turns it out really nice. Um, it's kind of foolproof as far as messing up. You know, you just kind of go in with the lighter shade in your crease, deepen it up in the outer corner, and then make a gradient for your shimmers. So for me, you know, this is kind of like an easy go-to eye look <laughs> if you want something nice, but you're not really sure exactly what direction you want to go, then just do this. And you can do it with any... That's my hubby. Please hold. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in and take that dark green matte and just kind of blend out the outer edge so it's not a harsh line where I stopped that dark green shadow. And yeah, I would suggest definitely um, spraying your brush for the shimmers just, you know, if you do like to do your complexion first or you know you want that extra pop of shine you know it kind of brings it in so um what do I want to do now okay so I'm going to use the dark green liner on my lower lash line so this liner is a bit metallic metallics aren't necessarily my favorite as far as like you know liners ago i'm not really into the whole metallic look on my lower lash line okay so i do want to smoke out my lower lash line a bit so i'm going to go back into the dark green matte and just use a pencil tight brush to kind of gently add a little bit of smokiness on the bottom and I'm also connecting this lower lash line to the top. So now I'm going into that lighter, brighter green shade that I started off with. And I'm just going to use a bit of that to soften up the edge of that dark green. So it's not so harsh. Okay, so now that I have that smoked out, I want to play with one of these Super Shock shadows. So even though this green is very close to the greens that I have on my lid, I do want to pop a little bit of this in my inner corner just to see how I like it. Okay. Okay. So the Super Shock is really pretty. It's just kind of doing like a double down on that bright green that's on my lid. So... Now I have to decide, do I want to put on an eyeliner or do I just want to put on some lashes? Mm, I think I just want to put on some lashes. So let me pop on some bold lashes and then we'll move on to the cheek and lip products. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and put on some lashes. The lashes I have on are these Eben Wonder Cat lashes that I got from, I think I got these from their website actually, in the style March. This one is March. I didn't put on any black eyeliner, so you know, it's kind of hard to camouflage shimmer and glitter fallout <laughs> and you know, lash placement when you don't put on eyeliner unless you're really, really good at it, which I'm not. But I didn't feel like putting on any black eyeliner. I just want to see the color today. So these are the lashes. Now let's move on to the cheek and the lips. I kind of want to do the lips first because my lips feel plain now that I took my uh, lip gloss off. So I'm going to try out the lip stain in the shade Tinkerbell. I'm going to put it on first with no lip liner just so you guys can see what it looks like on my skin tone with no lip liner and then I will go ahead and put it on with a lip liner I think. So let's see. Mm. 
very, very light, very faint. So this is what just one layer of this lip stain looks like on me. The lip stains, they feel, they're very thin, very light. They feel like, kind of like you're putting like water <laughs> on your lips. So I'm just going in with another layer. That's what it looks like. So quite frankly, I really don't think the lip stains are made for me <laughs> in particular, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, they're just very light, very fair. They look very, very pretty on um, more fair skin tones. And you know, if I wanted something just simple and light, that's fine, but that's not what I want. So I am going to put a lip liner on with this. Okay, so that's a little better. Gave my lips a little bit of definition to go along with this lip stain. Now let's move on to the cheeks. So I think I'm going to use the shade Darling on my cheeks. And I believe all of these have a bit of, yeah, when I squashed it, you could see there it has that sheen in there. Really, really pretty, but I better go with the darker one. Now, what type of brush? Now, usually with these Super Shock cheeks, I like to go in with a sponge, but I'm going to try this little brush today. It's just kind of like a, a smaller, semi-firm complexion type brush. very light but very pretty with the kind of like shimmery type blushes I don't like to put on too much especially if I'm gonna put on highlighter because I don't want it to get too you know crazy with the sheen but yeah I'm just kind of building it up a little bit these type of blushes are these shades from ColourPop very very pretty if you're like my skin tone um and you don't like that crazy pop of color or crazy bright pigment, then you'll probably like these because they look very pretty, very natural. It's just like a soft, very soft flush of color. Like you can see on this side compared to this side, no color, color. So if you just like a very light, hint of blush on your cheeks then you'll probably like these and these aren't too too shimmery so I do like that I'm noticing that it doesn't have like that kind of like highlighter type of look it just has a really soft kind of healthy glow to go along with the hint of color so I actually really like that definitely not for someone who <laughs> likes their blush to be the first thing you see when they walk in a room this would not do it for you it's very very light very very faint and it just kind of adds a little bit of you know warmth to your face so i like it actually it's really pretty it's like there but barely there so i really like it okay and which one was that? That one was Darling. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into this highlighter. This might mess everything up. This is called Happy Thoughts because it's not really that warm shade of highlight that I like, <laughs> you know? It's a little bit lighter than I prefer. So I'm gonna go in, try to go in kind of not too heavy and just really focus it on my high points of my face. Okay, so it's not, it's not giving that crazy, just super light beam like I thought it would. It definitely is lighter than anything I would ever want to choose, you know, as far as highlighter goes for my skin tone. But it's not anything that's like, oh my gosh, 
that looks crazy you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna kind of blend that in a little bit just so i can have that little bit of sheen on the high points of my cheeks here yeah so you see that it's pretty so yeah you can definitely build it up more you know if you want more um, highlight but you know I'm trying to take it easy with this because it is so light but it's pretty though nice and smooth pretty I feel like my whole face just has that nice kind of healthy glow to it it's a little bit on the tip and a little bit here okay yeah it's actually quite nice it's not too bad it's not too too light like I thought it would be to where it just looks like an ashy cast it actually looks really pretty okay so that is it for <laughs> the cheek the highlight and the lip this is the eye look for today you guys you know what I'm gonna put on something cute let me put on something cute okay you guys so I'm back now I don't necessarily have any clothes that say Tinkerbell but I wish I was in Hawaii so this is just have to do okay so yeah this is it you guys this is the final look for this Tinkerbell collection my thoughts on the collection overall is that it's a very nice collection it really is I think it's super cute love the packaging ColourPop chef's kiss they really did it with the whole packaging and all of that good stuff I think there could have been a few darker options for lip as well as for cheek for you know us brown girls okay but you know it worked out I still like the look it created I like this kind of soft kind of healthy glow I have going on on my cheeks and on my face and the eye look very pigmented very bold very bright very popping and so you guys know i love that so those are my overall thoughts on this tinkerbell collection i love it let me know down in the comment section if you guys were able to grab it if you decided to pick it up if i don't even know usually these collections sell out pretty quickly so i don't know if it's still available but if it is if you're gonna grab it if it comes back if you want it all that good stuff i am curious to know who wants the Tinkerbell situation. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much again for watching. Love you so much. And I'll see you on my next video. Toodles.